Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my recent pattern haul. I am very excited to share these with you because I really love all these patterns and I think given enough time, I can make them for this summer because they are all so beautiful. The majority came from the McCall's summer collection, which I recently did a top picks from that collection video. And I am just so excited to jump into this one. What I plan to do is just share with you the patterns, why I purchased them and probably go and take a browse on some online fabric shops and share with you a little bit more regarding the patterns that I would choose. The fabric that I would choose to use with each pattern. So please join me in the next section where we will dive into my recent pattern picks. Okay, so the first two patterns that I'm going to be sharing, I believe I spoke about these in my Friday Sews video, so I'm not going to stay too long on them, but I'm just going to show you guys what was purchased. I picked up the Cynthia Rowley Simplicity S9141. It is this really beautiful summer inspired dress and I love the tears that are on this. I have a fabric that could make version B but I am trying to decide if I'm going to buy more so I can make version A which is the longer dress. I just love how professional the sharing on the top bodice looks. It's really beautiful and I will insert uh, a a clear shot of this you guys can see how pretty it is it really looks very nice I believe the pattern instructions have about three different options and how you can go about creating the bodice but oh my gosh it's raining it's raining really loud I don't know if you guys can hear that anyway but I really love the the one that I saw where you insert the the elastic through a cavity and I think that would look really well and everything would be even if you use the inserting elastic method. The next pattern I did share on my most recent Friday Sews and it is Simplicity S9261. This is the most recent Mimi G style pattern. I am doing this one as a collaboration with Creativity by T and I am making the shorter version which is A. However, my fabric does not have as much stretch as I had anticipated it would so I should have that completed tonight. It's Monday um, but we will see. I think it will fit but it might be super snug so I may not be using the fabric that I had thought I, I would for the reveal of this pattern. But nonetheless, it's not a terribly difficult pattern and I can have it completed by Sunday the 30th with a video for the reveal. So that is the second pattern that I purchased. Now from the McCall's recent collection, I have quite a few. Here are the patterns that I purchased from the McCall's recent collection. And bear in mind that this collection launched with 40 patterns. Eight to 10 are costumes and kids, and the rest are Missy style. So this is how much I got. I think I got almost, not half, but a third of those patterns. Okay, so let's jump into it. The first one that I have, and one thing when you go to Joann's and pick up the patterns, like when they just launch them, they always have them on top of the shelf with a very odd numbering system. So I will share with you, so I'll share with you the correct number for this one. 
I just could not find this specific pattern in the drawers. So that's why I picked it up. But I really love this dress. I wasn't sure that I would. I looked at it and I thought it looked pretty juvenile. And I just wasn't sure if I could pull off something like that. But it's a very cute dress. And I think that with time and taking a look at the pattern and what fabrics are out there, I can definitely make this me. And also I could whip up really quickly. This comes with a three design. Obviously you can see the first one, view, ver, view or version, holy buckets Renata, try to talk. <laughs> so version A just looks super cute and I really, really like the version B because it has another tier here and then the third one because I love that sort of what sort of style would that be I love that beautiful summer English country tea style sort of design I love it it just it's so freeing and very relaxing especially if it's hot this sort of design works well for that time period which is summer that's coming up really quick and it's pretty much almost here in Texas it's raining now but the days are pretty warm they're 88 almost to 90 um it's not as hot as it was last year, but you know, it's getting warmer and these sort of dresses are perfect. So let's move on to the next pattern. The next one I have is McCall's M8192. Everything about this dress is beautiful. I picked this one up and I'm trying not to talk too much about it because I already went through this during my, my top picks, but I can't help but just love the version C and this is the one that I would make. I would highly consider this for a brothery anglais or something that has a lot of um, texture in it, a lot of depth. I would probably mix the fabrics and go with some sort of lace as well for the ruffles. So I'll share some options on the screen during the entire video so you guys can see what's going through my mind and what I would consider to work with these patterns to create my style. The next pattern I picked up is a McCall's M8198. This one during my my top picks I wasn't too sure about it but I, I think that I can make it work and after the high of making the Tilly and the Button Lyra dress, I'm not so nervous about colors anymore. I had some issues with them. They never looked really sharp at the peak, but that dress, here it is, that dress came out amazing. It looked really good. So if I'm ever having issues regarding any other shirt patterns that I am working on, I'm going to refer back to the Tilly and the button instructions to guide me through that process. So this is the pattern again, and I just love that version C. The sleeve is just so billowing and beautiful and everything that's currently on trend right now. So let me take you through the other pattern but before, let me just say that I feel that this would look really great in some sort of minty green or a sort of apricot color. I've recently started to look at that color because I had a, a top that I made a few years ago and I wore it and someone was like, oh my gosh, that color looks great on you. So I think I want to tap into that sort of color for this or something floral and really ditzy. That would make a really pretty shirt as well. So the next pattern that I picked up, the next pattern that I picked up is McCall's MA219. The reason I picked this up is because it looked so much like a ready to wear top. Just looking at the model, that totally called me. It looked really well done. It looked like the fit was perfect. And I want to try it out because it doesn't look like it's going to take too long. And someone like me that just doesn't have a lot of time and wants some 
Sometimes I want pieces that I can whip up really quick. This is going to work. Um, I love the version C with the long sleeve. I tend to like longer sleeves. I tend to like longer sleeves, but I like to mix things up. So I might change the sleeve and insert a lace instead of the same fabric, something that would contrast nicely. I like mixing fabrics and textures and having really bold contrast, something that really draws attention to it or can be super subtle, but when you're close, you're like, oh my gosh, what did you do? Those are the sort of details that I like to work with when I'm sewing. So just because this is a basic style tee and I've spoke about creating elevated pieces, to do something like that, I would definitely switch out the material for the sleeve and go with something that's lace or probably tweak the sleeve to my liking or just hack it so it just creates my own spirit in there. <laughs> so that's what I would do with this one. And I am thinking colors of like bold blue would look amazing, like electric blue in this. It's a color that I don't typically wear, but I like that color. Green, I think sage green is a beautiful color, even minty green, but I've done minty green a few times in the past and I think I want something a little more stronger, slightly heavy, but not too dark. So some sort of avocado style green, <laughs> something like that would really go well. And then you can't go wrong creating some plain white versions or plain black with this because those are your basics for your wardrobes to keep building on pieces when you have to layer. The next pattern is M8202. I wasn't sure about this. I probably said that a few times, but some of these patterns, they do have a very peasant style. And at times I never know if that works for me. So sometimes I stay away from it, but other times I feel like I could totally conquer and rule when I make those sort of designs and fashion choices and they work well. So. This one, I really picked it up for version A. I love all the multiple ruffles that are going on there. I'm really liking ruffles this season, and I just love the color that version A is in. It's that sort of uh, apricot, peachy kind of color that's just really beautiful. And something like this, don't forget, you can always, you know, add a contrasting piece with those ruffles and create your own style. That is one thing that I like about patterns that have multiple designs and multiple uh, pieces or detail that they feature on the pattern because you can create different looks by what you choose to cut those patterns out of. So yeah, really loving that one. I do feel like once upon a time someone gave me a pattern and it was labeled like 1970 or 1968. This was before I was really into sewing and it really looks similar to this. And I'm pretty sure I gave it away. Future Renata is telling past Renata, how could you do something like that? <laughs> okay guys, so the next pattern that I have is McCall's M8200. This I wasn't too sure of. The the fabric options for this design is cotton blend gingham and that ever elusive polished cotton, which I have no idea about. But I picked this up mainly because the back has a beautiful sharing panel back there. And that is a detail that I have not seen. I don't think I've ever seen it on a pattern that wasn't like knit. I could be lying. I can't remember when last I saw a pattern like this. No, I can't. But anyway, <laughs> it's in my stash now, so I can definitely use it to create some awesome pieces. And as you can see, some of them are, um, not some, just one. Version A is um, midriff style. So it's, it's versatile for young and more mature. So is out there, so, and the size as well is, um, it goes all the way up to 16 on this packet and then all the way up 
to 32W. So this one has a really broad range. So anyone shape, size, anyone can look fabulous with this pattern because I think it's amazing and you don't have to worry about grading up or anything with this one. And yes, I do like the yellow that they use, but for me, I wouldn't go with something like this sort of yellow. I feel like a brown or a burnt orange would look really great. And I do like florals with this as well. Another thing that you can totally do is probably add a skirt half to this just by adding, adding? <laughs> adding is probably me thinking about gathering fabric and then attaching to the hem. So that's what adding is if you know what I mean. So yeah, go ahead and add her more. <laughs> The next pattern that I have purchased, and this is the sweetest one that I, I have four more to share, guys, and they're beautiful that I added to my collection. And I talked about these already. I know I am, but here I am again talking about how beautiful they are. So I picked up this MA211 basically because I love version C. It's so beautiful. It's all Renata. And I just want to make it so bad, but I have a few projects that's going on, guys. So tell me what color I should make this in. I feel it looks really good in a cotton candy color. I'm typically not a pink girl. I'm more of a purple type girl, but I love all colors throughout the rainbow. And I just, I just love it. I love all the the tears that they have on this version. And I, I just really, really look forward to making it. I think that all three versions speak my name and I can't wait to attack these. I think I need to take a week or two off work. I said this in one of my Friday shows. Now, let's move on to the next. I may not be in the same position that I was in previously because my 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 battery died on me, but we were talking about McCall's MA211 and I just love that pattern. I think all designs A, B, and C are beautiful and I think I would want to make all of them. They are so pretty. They just speak girly. They just say beautiful they just say feminine i i love being ultra feminine and there are days when i can totally be edgy and totally hard with my style but i feel for the last two three years i've just been more on the path to a more polished and a more uh feminine ultra feminine renata but i love it and um I just can't wait to make one of these dresses to share with you guys. The next pattern that we're going to talk about is M8195. The So McCall's M8195, I, I looked at it and I felt like, uh, I was like, oh, those sleeves are really interesting. Kind of like them, kind of don't like them, but... I, I really took it for version B because it's so fluttery and pretty and version A is just another simple design that would make an amazing spring summer dress or something you can wear for the fall and wear like um, a very form fitting top underneath. It would just look really cool and even with a turtleneck, especially version A. Another favorite of my mind of my mind not a favorite of my mind another favorite of my recent purchase is the mccall's m8193 i could not leave this one behind i forgot to pick it up the first time i went to joanne's and i was like okay i gotta run back for this one i basically love the tears and one thing i really do like is the button that the strap attaches to on this design it's it's unique. It's not something that you typically see. More often than not, there's no button. So you can't really do so any sort of adjusting. I don't know if there are adjusting on these buttons. I doubt there would be just because the button is in front. And if you have multiple buttonholes, then you're going to have this long thing flapping in the front. And that's just not going to look really 
snazzy so <laughs> I doubt that's one of the details but I do like the button and I look forward to making it I just think throughout the season I've just been seeing so many beautiful dresses that have all these different tiers and they're just so full and so beautiful and it's just it's so free and, and romantic I love this designs that are just dropping everywhere so romantic all right, the last one that I've added is McCall's M8199, and I really love version C. This is so peasant style, so beautiful, totally love it. I really, really love that one there, and I just, I just don't know when I'm going to sew all these dresses, all these blouses, all these new patterns. And if you guys heard that noise, it's my tiny refrigerator next to me that is making a lot of noise. So guys, those are all the patterns that I recently added to my stash. I'm going to try to go and dye it from now on with patterns. It's hard. There's always so many beautiful ones coming out there. But I feel like these can last a long time just because of their styling features and the variety of fabrics that you can use. Now, they don't cross like knit and woven, but there are a lot of different dress weight fabrics that you can use for these. And I think they are magnificent. I love all the designs. I think that they can definitely go the mile in your wardrobe. Your real estate will just go on and on. Think about the fabric choices, your color choices, and any sort of additions that you want to add to create pieces that represent you. So any contrast that you add, any textures or layers that you add will create beautiful pieces that speaks your language that everyone will know is you, but they last a long time and they can go on for a year or two. Now we sew a lot, so that means, you know, <laughs> we're gonna keep making things, but it's nice to know that some pieces you make can last a longer time than others. Like t-shirts and such, when I sew those, I know they're gonna be worn to death and die and then I have to make them again but other pieces like jackets or some really pretty dress or a really nice spring dress or summer dress I would use some beautiful fabrics that I want to wear for another year or two or three go to a wedding a dinner party a graduation party pieces that are beautiful so just consider that when you're buying patterns think about how long you are going to use them if they're worth it if you have anything else in your stash that could remotely be hacked into that and if not go for it otherwise just feel free, do what you want. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like the content, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on if you subscribe. That way you know when next I upload a video. And I'm going to sign off now. My next video that will be uploaded will be the review of that beautiful blouse back there. It is the Bakerloo by Nina Lee London. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day and we will talk soon. Bye-bye.